welcome to my channel. This video is for the full moon in Libra this April. Depending where you are, this full moon will be April 4th or April 5th. Full moons are a time to release, to heal, to let go of what you no longer want in your life, thoughts that you no longer want to have, feelings that you no longer want to experience, things that are limiting you, holding you back, preventing you from reaching those goals and outcomes that you desire. It is important to look at the sign that the full moon is in in this case, it is in Libra. It's important to look at the sign so that you can get an idea about what the energy is assisting you with, the area of your life that this full moon is helping you release things in. So Libra is about relationships, it's about balance, it's about healing, being vulnerable, and creating harmony in your life and within yourself as well. So that gives you some idea about what you can set intentions around releasing. You can also look back to the intentions that you set at the new moon, which was two or so weeks ago, and see what may have come up over those two weeks that has prevented you or challenged you in reaching those intentions that you set and what you can do with Libra energy in mind to help you manifest those intentions and reach those goals that you created at the new moon. Considering the other planets, where they are in the sky, and everything else that is going on in the astrology, this new moon is really about healing old wounds. It's bringing ourselves, our body, our lives back into balance. So releasing whatever we need to release in order to have more balance and harmony in our life. This full moon is really about looking at our wounds and recognizing, accepting where we are in our life and those wounds that we may have to heal, whether they're emotional wounds, physical wounds, trauma from our past that we can now look at healing. It's really noticing our inner wounds. Maybe we've been pushing them down, trying to hide them, or not accepting, not even realizing that we have them. This full moon will really help us realize that we have those wounds, be able to pinpoint and label and recognize those wounds, and start to heal them as well. We're kind of experiencing a breakthrough in our healing. Healing past trauma, healing things that we've been trying to cover up and hide or ignore. This full moon is also about showing ourselves love and compassion and showing people in our lives love and compassion, understanding that we are not our wounds. We can learn and grow from our challenges and the trauma and the pain that we've experienced. And we can move on, we can heal and move on from them. And doing that with love and compassion for ourselves and for others, without blaming, without judgment, just being really loving and accepting. Libra also often brings awareness to the relationships in our lives. We can look at those that we have a relationship with and see how those relationships may trigger us or people that may trigger us and realize that it is a reflection of ourselves. It is a reflection of our own wounds. When we are triggered, when we are angry or feel uncomfortable in certain situations or at certain people, it's because we have something internally that we need to work through. It doesn't have anything to do with the other person. It's internal. So for the tarot reading, I like to tune into our familiars, the animals in our lives, because they are, just as the other relationships in our lives, a mirror back to us of what is going on internally with us. Often our animals will try to take on some of our emotions, help us heal. They're really in tune with energy and they come from a place of true love, acceptance, and they're really in tune with what's going on internally with us. So they're really helpful in asking for advice. So I'm going to do a pick a card tarot reading. One card will be what inner wounds we should look at releasing and healing this full moon and what inner wounds our familiar wants to release or heal. Often they will both be the same because our animals are mirrors of us and they are sponges. They, they are soaking up how we are feeling and our energy and reflecting that back to us. But they are also on their own journey. They have come into this world 
they are alive with their own purpose. So we're going to check in with them a bit and see what they would like to release this full moon. So I will be making three groups, group one, group two, and group three. Pick a number from one to three and that will be your message. You can ask your familiar, the animal that you have a connection to, what number they feel drawn towards, or you can just choose yourself. So I'm going to shuffle the cards. I'm using the dog and cat communication tarot deck, which is a deck specifically designed for communicating with your animals. It follows the traditional tarot layout, but is written in a way that is from your animal's perspective. Group one, group two, and group three. What does our familiar want us to release? What do they want to release? And what are we healing? What inner wounds are we healing this full moon? Group one, group two. This is a card that fell out for group two, so I'm gonna put that aside. And group three, message from our familiar about healing our inner wounds. Group one, group two, Group three, group one. This is the card that fell out for group two. Group three. Group one, your cards are the three of bones and the six of balls. Group one, both of your cards are about working together. The six of balls is about cooperation, which is really fitting for this Libra full moon, since Libra is about harmony and cooperation and balance, working together. The six of balls is also about celebration and just being proud of your accomplishments, where you have come from, the changes that you have occurred, the work that you have done, the progress that you have made. So group one, right now with this full moon, you can really heal the thought or the belief, the idea that you haven't accomplished anything or that you haven't accomplished enough, that you need to be more, have more, do more. It's great to have goals and ambitions and there's definitely nothing wrong with desiring more and wanting to achieve more, accomplish more, have more, make more money, be more, have more, do more. There's nothing wrong with that. And you can continue to feel that way, but know that right here in the present, you are already enough. You have done enough. When you think about it day to day, if you look at your to-do list for the day and you're always disappointed, there was always something that you didn't get to and you feel that you should have done better, could have done better, you could have done more, you shouldn't have taken that time to rest, you should have been working. You're always pushing yourself to achieve more and you're always a little bit hard on yourself. You're feeling that you let yourself down or you let other people down. This card is your familiar really letting you know that that's not a healthy way of being and you can really be in the present and recognize that you have come a far way. Look over the past 5, 10, 15 years and how different you are from then. How much you've grown, how much you've learned, maybe you're physical surroundings hasn't changed that much. Maybe you're still living in that house that you don't want to live in. Maybe you still have that job that you are trying to get out of. Maybe you're still in that relationship or you don't have that relationship that is really healthy and authentic for you. But trust that you have grown a lot. You have done a lot of work and whatever you're striving for is really close and you can focus on the accomplishments 
the things that you have already done, the growth you have already made, even though it may be internal and it's not external right now, you don't see the results, but know that you have done a lot of work and be proud and be confident. So the wounds that you are healing is just being aware of how far you've come, the growth that you've done and feeling that you are enough, that you have done enough, really recognizing all that you have accomplished, maybe not being so hard on yourself and celebrating things that you have done and learn. The three of bones, which is what your familiar wants to release or heal, the area that they want to bring more harmony and balance to bring more love into has to do with their close relationship. So this is most likely you or another member of the household, someone that you're familiar is really close to that really loves to spend time with and do things with. The three of bones is about nurturing those relationships, growing together. Again, this is really great for Libra because it's about cooperation and harmony. It's about being part of a team and working together to reach a destination that benefits both members of the team or more all members. It can be more than just two people. So maybe looking at this as a household, the household dynamic that everyone is really working together. It could be another animal that your familiar shares the house with if you have more than one animal that your familiar is looking at healing those relationships and really working together feeling that they are a part of a team that they are part of a process something bigger a community something more than just themselves and they're helping others and others are helping them they work together they want to do activities that grow bonds and relationships that fosters healthy relationships. They want to work with another to overcome challenges and stressors, to feel really part of a team where everyone comes together to work together to get an outcome that benefits everyone, that everyone is striving towards the same thing. So think about who in your animal's life they may be feel some conflict with. If you can't think of one, it could be internally your animal is feeling some conflict and they're looking at reducing that conflict and working together. Reducing that conflict and feeling that the actions that they take benefit a group of people, a community, the household that you live in. So this full moon, your familiar is working on healing any relationships, any conflict that they have been experiencing. Maybe you've been trying to teach your animal to not pull on the leash or your cat to not scratch the couch and this has created a little bit of conflict in the household. Your familiar is looking at healing that and finding a way that they can release that excess energy that they have when they pull the leash. Maybe go on some off-leash areas or find some way that they can release that energy in a way that is enjoyable for them and for you or something like scratching the couch that is a natural instinctual behavior and that's something that cats need to do and maybe your familiar is working on finding a way that they can release those natural habits those things that they just have to do it's part of being a cat but doing it in a way that doesn't upset you acting out those natural behaviors that they need to do in a way that creates more harmony and peace and joy within the other members of the household with the ones that they love. Finding ways that are more appropriate to act out those natural behaviors and you can definitely help them with this. Maybe it's purchasing a scratching post so they have an area that they really love that they can go to to act out those behaviors. Maybe if your dog is digging in the backyard and you don't want them to dig up all your flowers or your vegetables, provide them with an area a patch of dirt that is just for them to dig in. Finding ways where the two of you compromise and work together to come to an outcome that is enjoyable for both of you. I hope that was helpful for you group one and you were able to really heal and release this full moon and have a better idea about how you can support your animal and how you can support yourself and knowing what area of your life you can think about releasing or healing. I'll see you in the next video.
group two, your cards are the seven of hearts and the page of balls. Group two, your card, the seven of hearts represents what you are healing or releasing at this full moon. The seven of hearts is about taking the time to pause, consider, reflect, assess, and really look at all the options that are available to you before jumping into something. Before taking action, you are pausing and you are maybe tuning into your emotions or considering your loved ones, the people in your household that are affected by your actions, considering your familiar and how they are affected by the choices that you make, considering yourself, the future and really just weighing your options a bit more than jumping into something without knowing what the possible outcomes are. Now you are never going to be a hundred percent sure or know how things are going to go but it's just taking a little second to pause and breathe and really assess how you are feeling inside and tuning into your intuition, tuning into your emotions to help you make choices, to help you assess opportunities. And if you feel that this is something that you already do, then this could mean that you are healing your ability to take chances, go after opportunities, make choices without feeling too fearful. So sometimes you can stop, pause, weigh your options, the opportunities, consider all the outcomes and be too much in your head. And then it, that prevents you from taking action or worrying too much, being too fearful, feeling emotions that are uncomfortable and preventing you from taking action. So it can go either way. Maybe you're rushing into things or maybe you're taking too long and not taking any action. So you're healing, finding a balance in the appropriate amount to pause, the appropriate amount of time to step back, assess how you are feeling, assess your emotions, assess the situation, and then taking action. So not waiting too long to take action and not taking action too quickly. This may be in all areas of your life or it may be in one specific area of your life where you are jumping too fast into or taking too long. Along with this, you are also aware of the emotions and feelings of other people. You are also able to assess, reflect, think about how your choices, the opportunities that you have, the choices that you make, affect the other people in your life, affect your familiar, affect the household that you live in, affect your loved ones, your friends, the relationships that you're in, and you're able to have a healthy perspective on how your choices are affecting others. You're considering the opinions and the feelings of those around you, but you're not overly considering them. You're not stopping yourself or preventing yourself from doing what you really desire because of someone else, because someone else thinks you shouldn't, or you think someone else will feel uncomfortable if you do. You have a good balance, you have harmony and a healthy perspective on making choices that benefit you as well as those around you. And you're not holding yourself back because of those people around you. So that's what you're healing this full moon. And you're really finding that balance when it comes to assessing and making choices taking action, looking at the opportunities that are available to you. Your other card, which represents what your familiar is healing or releasing this full moon, is the Page of Balls. The Page of Balls, the energy around that card is like a puppy or a kitten. So it's a really curious, playful energy. It's an energy that wants to learn and discover and is fascinated by all these new and exciting things that life has to offer. Exploring, in enjoying the variety, all the options. So both of these cards are kind of about opportunities and having many opportunities available. So your familiar is also healing the ability to assess and choose opportunities that are best and most authentic to them and they're helping you heal that as well. So you are able to choose those opportunities that are in alignment with you and the goals and desires that you have. The Page of Balls is also about creativity and your animal using all their senses, using their ears, their eyes, their nose, those special skills that they have. 
just having fun and being playful, being creative. So your familiar is currently or has been in the past has something that they've been a little fearful about. They've been a little scared. They've stepped back, held back a little bit instead of being that joyful, playful kitten or puppy that loves to explore and just get into everything and discover and play. Animals, they learn through play and maybe something has happened in the past to your animal and they have had a little fear around just getting out there and getting into things and they're healing that fear, they're releasing that fear. It may not be a fear that you've noticed but it's something that maybe has kept them a little more quiet, a little more reserved. If you're thinking, this isn't my animal at all, my animal is out there, playful, curious, getting into everything, causing trouble and mischief, then maybe they're a little too curious and they need to be able to hold themselves back a bit. They need to be able to control themselves a bit and not just jump headfirst into things with no fear. Sometimes a little fear is important. Like a car, You're, you want your animal to be fearful of a car. You don't want your animal to run after and chase a car because that's dangerous or to jump into a really fast river that they could be swept under and swept away. You want your animal to have some fear in situations that require fear. And you also don't want your animal to, to be too timid to hold themselves back from experiencing life and the world and having fun, experiencing joy. So they're healing that balance. They're healing their ability to have the appropriate amount of caution and fear in the appropriate situation. So I hope that was helpful for you group two and you have a better idea about what you can set intentions around healing, around releasing, and you can assist your familiar in healing and releasing that fear or that timidness or that overly brave mindset that they may have. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Group three, your cards are the 10 of bones, and the Page of Hearts. Group three, your card, the Ten of Bones, is the card that symbolizes what you are healing at this full moon or what you are releasing in order to heal. The Ten of Bones is about recognizing your accomplishments and your achievements, being proud of yourself, being able to show off and say, yeah, I did that and I did a good job at it. I'm proud of the work that I've done, the effort that I've put in. I've dedicated time, I've dedicated money, I've dedicated some of my life to this and I'm proud of where I am, I'm proud of what I've accomplished and I don't care what anyone else thinks about it. It's about being able to experience love and joy and happiness in the moment. So it's about being present and just being able to sit in all that you have done, being able to take time out of the day to be aware, bring awareness to what you have, what you have accomplished, where you are in life and the good that you have, the things in your life that bring you joy, bring you pleasure, bring you love, bring you happiness and recognizing that throughout the day. It is also a card that's about gratitude, being grateful for all that you have and not always looking at the past, looking at things that you've done that you maybe wish you did differently, or looking at what could have been, choices that you could have made, things that maybe you think you should have done, not worrying about that stuff, putting that in the past and not rehatching, digging up, obsessing over, going over that stuff. It's done, it's over. The past does not determine your future and really knowing that, feeling that, understanding that and also not obsessing over the future, not obsessing over will this happen, will this work out, how is this going to work out, how am I going to make this happen, wondering if you will ever reach those goals, wondering if you will ever have what you desire and just trying to figure out or have control over the future. Being in the present and in the present just in enjoying what you have to enjoy. Whether that's enjoying the sunshine, enjoying the fresh air, enjoying the flowers, enjoying your favorite music, enjoying a TV show or a movie that you love to watch, enjoying 
being comfy and cozy with your favorite drink and your animal cuddled up, curled up next to you. Enjoying those little moments, being grateful for the things that you have right now. Group three, this card also has a focus on relationships. So being really grateful for the relationships, for the love that you have, whether that's love for yourself, loving yourself fully and completely and unconditionally loving yourself or loving someone else, whether that's your familiar, the animal in your life that you have a strong connection with or someone else, someone that you have a relationship with just focusing on love and really feeling love, feeling gratitude for love, experiencing true unconditional love. The other card which represents what you're familiar is healing, what you're familiar is releasing in order to heal, is the Page of Heart, which is a very curious, playful, joyful energy. There is a lot of movement and excitement with this card. It's a very light, young, fresh, youthful energy. So it doesn't matter what stage of life or age your animal is at, this is the energy that they are wishing to experience. And at any stage, your animal can experience this joyful, fresh energy. It's really optimistic, it's light, it's excited and it's also loving. So there is a very soft, loving, gentle energy to this card. It's really embracing that inner child, that inner kitten, that inner puppy and finding joy, spark, love for life. It's a new perspective that is inquisitive and optimistic. So that is an energy that your animal wants to bring into their daily life. They want to be more optimistic. They want this pers fresh perspective. They're healing whatever is blocking them from feeling this perspective of optimism, of just joy and spark and love of life. That doesn't mean that they are depressed or they're hating life or they're sad. It doesn't mean that. It just means that they would like more and they're healing whatever is in the way of having more of that spark for life. It also may only be in one area of their life that they are feeling they're missing this optimism, this joy and excitement and love for life. Maybe they've been feeling a little timid, a little nervous, or just apprehensive about going for a walk, or this one specific activity, or this one place, this one park, this one experience that they don't love. They dread a little bit, they're uncomfortable. You probably know what it is because you know your animal. It's something that they're just, they, feels blah, it's boring. They're not terribly scared or hating it, but they're just like, meh, I'd rather not. It also may be that they are trying to bring that spark into the household, into their relationship with you. They're trying to bring that energy, hold that energy for you or for another loved one so that you feel that spark, so that you feel that optimism in your day-to-day -day life. It is an energy that they really want to cultivate and embrace. They want to hold that energy. It may be that they can easily access that energy and they feel that spark and that joy and they want all their loved ones, everyone around them, everyone in their household to also experience that spark. So they're trying to hold it and they're healing whatever needs to be healed and released so that they are able to bring that energy to the ones that they love, to you, to someone else in the household, to even another animal that they interact with regularly. They're able to hold that energy in a way that is healthy and easy and feels good to them. So they're healing whatever is in the way of preventing them from embracing that energy and holding that energy for a longer period of time for others, for the ones that they love, so that their loved ones can experience that spark and that joy. Most animals do have that spark and that joy. I know my dogs, when I wake up in the morning, they are excited. They're happy for another day. They're just like, yes, this is awesome. We're alive. We're here. Let's have a great day. And that's not always the energy I enter every day in, and I'm sure 
most people don't always enter every day with that this is so amazing it's great to be here type energy and that's the type of energy that your familiar is wanting to hold for you so that you can access at any time you want and they are healing whatever is in the way of them holding that energy or of you being able to accept that energy from them group three i hope this was helpful and you are able to heal get a better idea on what you want to heal or what you want to release this full moon and a better idea of how you can assist or help your familiar see their vision heal what they want to heal please like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next video Pets are more than just animals. They are spiritual beings with unique personalities and energies. Do you love your dog and want to live in harmony with your dog while understanding their needs and emotions? Instead of feeling frustrated or overwhelmed by your dog's behavior, improve your relationship with your dog and help them heal from any physical, mental, or emotional issues. I offer a unique combination of positive reinforcement training methods with energy healing techniques, animal communication, and tarot. Receive a personalized action plan created by a certified dog trainer and animal communicator. This package is perfect for anyone who wants to enhance and enchant their life with their dog. Don't miss this opportunity to get this amazing package. Apply now and get ready to create a magical relationship with your dog.